Greetings, this is Dr. Bill Becknell speaking to you from Moscow, Russia. And several weeks ago in Window Thoughts number 13, I said that one of the seven biblical principles of love was submission. And I reminded you that Jesus prayed three times in the garden. And each time he finished by saying, thy will be done. So Jesus chose to be obedient to his father. And in these verses, we can see his agony, but we cannot see the results of his agony. And that's what we're going to talk about today, the results of being submissive to God. Now, Hebrews 12, 2 is an interesting verse, and in it it says that looking unto Jesus, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Endured the cross? It sounds really crazy. So how does this work? I mean, how do we understand this? Everything in life has a result. If you do anything there is always some kind of result. So here is your pearl of great price for today. Submission to God's authority produces joy. Now, I don't know about you, but I hate to obey. It's normal. Most of us don't want to obey. But if we will choose to obey, we will have joy in our life. But it's something that we must learn to do. Okay, that's the end of the program. We can stop but I think I want to make a few more comments. <laughs> you know, we are all born with this problem of selfishness and sin. And as I said in Window Thoughts number 13, we learn to love and we choose to love. But real love involves submission to God's will, not our will. God has given us godly principles of authority in the Bible to obey. So here are the lines of authority that God has given us in the Bible. Children, obey your parents. Wives, obey your husbands. Husbands, obey Christ. And Christ was obedient to the Father even to the point of death. And we know that that's true in Philippians 2.8, it tells us. So why do you think that Jesus was submissive to his Father to the point of death? The answer, I believe, is that he loved his Father so much that we don't have words to even begin to imagine or to describe this relationship between the Heavenly Father and the Son of God. So these biblical principles of submission are based upon love. And there may be some exceptions uh, to these principles. For example, when Peter was talking with the Sanhedrin in the book of Acts. But we must be sure that we are obeying God and not our own selfish desires when we make an exception. Because... Justification is a strong motive in everybody. So when we obey God's authority over us, God is responsible for the results of that. He may change your spouse, he may change your parents, he may change your children, but it's important to remember the only person that we can change is ourselves. So do you want peace and joy in your life? Then be like Jesus. Be submissive to God's will and to his authority over you. You know, I don't know. Do you understand what I'm trying to say today? I'm not talking about authority and obedience. and uh, I am talking about love. This is all about love. Because love is submission to God's authority. And the result of that submission is joy. So as they say on the TV commercial, Mikey, try it. You'll like it. So God bless you. We invite you to come and see us. Sign up for an expedition. I promise you, you'll never be the same. So uh, if you'd like to subscribe to our channel, we invite you to do that. Send the link to your friends. And if you'd like uh, to read my book on faith, I invite you to send me an email or contact me uh, on Facebook. Or you can find it on Amazon.com. So God bless you. And again, we invite you to come see us. Goodbye.